And as I said, nearly 80% of Gaza's population receive some kind of social assistance, and nearly 40% of these people... three-day conference dealing with Israel and Palestine. Uh, I'm, I'm really delighted to be here and to be part of uh, this conference. My contribution to the conference is going to be focused on the liturgical celebration. The gist of what I try to convey today is that how urgent, how critical is to have peace between the Israelis and Palestinians. Uh, and then we, we spoke about you know the importance of um, you know, the Christian presence in the Holy Land. As we listen to our um, Muslim and Jewish friends, you know, uh, how important it is for the Christian community to thrive. Live together with humanity. And if it, this is be the starting point, I think the solution will derive from there. Christians, they relate uh, culturally to Muslims uh, and biblically to the Jewish people. The facts of the, on the ground change with the settlements and the, the, the recent history of the conflict change the condition. Uh, and in the midst of that, the Christian celebrates the triumph of God's vulnerable faithfulness. So we still believe in self, or I believe, in, in, in two-state solution, but in a more elaborate way of, a con, of maybe a confederation, in looking into it. So either we reach two-state solution, also look in a confederal system in which we minimize the need for people to move from one side of the border to the other, but still it's based on peace, reconciliation, political rights, and civil rights. And I think the Christians are like a kind of middle ground, um, which is we, as Anglicans, we associate being via media, of course, we're good at that. You know, people talk about Arabs and Israelis and Jews and Christians and Muslims. First and foremost, we think about ourselves as humans. They can be uh, um, in a place where they are uh, not only peace builders, but also bridge builders. That's why Jerusalem becomes so important. The failure of the last 23 years should not deter us from looking for new ideas. And share it as a source for uh, justice uh, and engaging with those who need it most, especially those who are forgotten, uh, whilst Christ becomes their voice. As long as at the heart of it is peace, coexistence and reconciliation. And hopefully we'll be able to go away from it and really get some constructive discussions going. Mm -hmm.